Hey guys, it's Lyndon again, and today we're going to be talking about uh, planting grass and painting grass and watching the grass dry while the paint grows. Get that guy out of here! Today's video is going to be crazy exciting. We're going to talk about how to budget for a play production. That's right, if you want to be the person that designs and builds the scenes for a play like The Lion King, you need to know how to budget properly. Check out this footage. This footage is from the set building area at High Desert Middle School. When we put on a show, all of the different pieces of scenery on stage are actually created in this garage, then they're either carried or rolled out onto stage for the performance. Before we get started, let's answer the question, what is a budget? A budget is the amount of money that is available for, required for, or assigned to a particular purpose. If you're going to Walmart and you're trying to buy yourself a toy and you only have $10 to buy that toy, then $10 would be your toy budget. Don't worry though, today we have more than $10. For today's project, you're going to be drawing one of the scenes for our imaginary play of the three little pigs. In the story, the pigs build three different houses a house made of straw, sticks, and bricks. These will be the three different scenes that you can choose from. I've created a little worksheet that will help guide you so things don't get too confusing, and we'll talk about that in just a second. For our imaginary version of the three little pigs, we've been given $300 for the entire show. If we have three different scenes, the house of straw, sticks, and bricks, then we need to divide $300 by three to get the amount that we can spend on each individual scene. If we do that math, 300 divided by 3 equals 100, which means we have $100 for each set that we design. We're going to focus on drawing one scene at the moment, so make sure you try your absolute best at whichever one you choose. If we look at the worksheet, the first box has you picking which scene you'd like to design. I'm going to pick the one with a straw house. The next box shows how much your designs will cost you. Everything in your drawing would have to be created out of real materials if we were to actually build it, so each shape, color, and decoration will cost some imaginary money. Try your best to think ahead about which colors and decorations you'd like to include. If you do the math before you start to draw, you can figure out exactly how many things you can create. Okay, let's go over it one last time without any distractions. In step one, you're going to choose your set. This is the drawing that you're going to create of one of the three little piggies' houses. In step two, you're going to plan out your drawing to make sure that you don't go over this imaginary budget. That means all of the decorations that you want to put into your drawing, things like trees or cars or animals, you have to do the math beforehand to make sure that you don't go over 100. And then in step three, you can begin drawing. There's absolutely no stress to this. You're not going to be graded at the end. You can just take your drawing home. So make sure that you try your best and have fun with it. 